So one question lots of people will be asking is the safety element of boiling water coming out of your tap. How have yeah. you covered that one? Safety is obviously paramount. So we've worked hard to make this as safe as possible. There's a couple of stages to dispensing the boiling water. And one of them is this safety catch. Okay. So that fits on the tap. It so you does. can take it off if you haven't got children, but if you have got little hands, you can have it on there. So it's optional. It's optional. This isn't um, day to day use for most people. Mm -hmm. It's kind of um, a, a belt and braces, another layer of safety for people who have young children, or maybe you've got some guests coming to the house. They don't haven't... know. Yeah, exactly. And you just don't want to have to worry about it. So you can pop this on. This will stop anyone having any, uh, you know undue issues dispensing boiling okay. water. Because you've mentioned already that we've pressed down the button yes. to activate. So already that, that's kind of really safe because yeah. you, you've got to give it some thought before you activate the boiling water. So this is another stage. Hmm. So how does that work? Well, normal operation is a two-stage process, but this just covers the button. So okay. you slide this onto the tap. Oh, so you can't even press the button now. Exactly. It's all, it's all obscured. So no one can come up. You can do you that all day long. Nothing will happen. You can't exactly. press. You can't turn. Mm. What about the filtered drinking water? Still works. Just bring it towards you. And oh, fantastic. Yeah, so it's go. perfectly safe. You can still get the filtered water, but not mm. boiling. Yeah. And just to get the boiling water, remove that. Then stage two is press down and turn. Exactly. So you've, you've thought of everything, really. So... No one could just come up to that that shouldn't be and, and use it unduly then. It's, it, you've, you've really thought about it. Exactly. And I think as well, generally speaking, I would say that a tap like this is safer than a kettle. Oh, without any doubt. Because mm. a kettle, when you think about it, it's, um, you can move a kettle around, okay? So it's not always in a fixed position. This is bolted down. But you could, I suppose a small person could pull on a lead or, or pull a kettle down, couldn't they? Power cables are an issue with a kettle because, yeah, yeah you could drag that off accidentally kettle goes over the side yeah. so and it's a whole kettle's worth of water it's yeah. not just a little bit it's it's a full kettle which is really dangerous yeah if you've got a, a liter and a half body of boiling water and it comes out you're in a big problem because you can't avoid it whereas with this being in a fixed position you know exactly where the boiling water's coming from exactly and let's say you do catch yourself you're, you're going to withdraw your hand straight away and because the water is very heavily aerated from the spout here it's not going to scald you Perfect. So it's not like pouring boiling water from a kettle. There's yeah. air bubbles that kind of, you've got a warning almost to pull your hand away. Exactly. You, if anything catches your hand, you're going to react straight away. Absolutely. And withdraw your hand from the area. Absolutely. Of, of Which concern. you can't always do with a kettle full of water. No, you can't avoid a body so of water So it's not like just that. that it looks better not having a kettle. Actually, yeah. it's a much safer way of, of doing things. Without doubt. And for little kids, obviously, um, as with any appliance in the household, especially the kitchen, you're going to tell them, this is potentially dangerous. You're going yeah. to walk them through it. But if yeah. there's any doubts at all, you've got the safety catch to add yeah. to it. This is fact. This is, I love it. It's a fantastic idea. Hmm.